Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be doing a request from Elaine Chan, I think is your name. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, but she asked about deworming garden snails and any like parasitic mites or anything like that. So I figured um, that's really important information, so I'll be going all through that. Also, some people seemed a little bit confused when I mentioned that I quarantine my new snails, so I'll be going over a little bit of that too. So we're going to be talking about that, how to prevent anything like that, and what you should do if your new snail does have any parasitic issues. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to be starting this off with a bit of a disclaimer. I am not a professional and I am just a human. I make mistakes. This is part of my hobby is taking care of these animals and to give you guys the information to also take care of them if you have that interest. That being said, um, I could be wrong about certain things. I try to do as much research as possible and especially when I am giving that uh, information to you guys. So just like to get that out there that if I make mistakes, please let me know in the comments below so I can correct them. Um, I, I'm always striving for new and correct information. So why is it important to quarantine your snails? The purpose of quarantine is to monitor your new pet and to make sure they don't have any parasites, they don't have any mites or any parasitic issues before you put them in an enclosure where they can spread it to the rest of your collection. So you take a smaller container, um, obviously it has to have air holes and stuff in it. You take some dirt from your existing snail enclosure, you, you know, put in leaf litter or you know whatever you want to decorate it with. Just make it very simplistic, uh, make sure they have cuddle bone, but that's pretty much their quarantine enclosure. Now if you get your snail from a breeder, then two weeks quarantine is fine. If you get them from outside, however, uh, quarantine them for about a month. That's the general rule of thumb. You can do longer if you want, but that is the minimum that I would go for just to make sure that everything's good. So that is why quarantine is important, just like it is for uh, reptiles and stuff like that. Any exotic pets, you're gonna want to quarantine. Now with snails, the cool thing is, it is different than reptiles. You can have their quarantine enclosure in the same room at least, um, just away from your other snails. So, quarantine your new pets, guys. It's very important. So, on to deworming. Why is it important to deworm? It's important to deworm because, especially if they're from the wild, because you want to make sure that you are not introducing a new parasite to your current snails or that your current snail is not living with this parasite and they can live a healthy life. But to deworm them, it's pretty simple. It means it's an easy process. So while they are in quarantine, you're going to want to give them a deworming mix. You can buy this online um, from eBay or Etsy. I get mine from Brittany Bellows on Etsy. I'll link it down below. Um, you can you can also do some crushed hemp and pumpkin seeds, and you crush those seeds up. You mix it with some water to like kind of like a mush, and you do that to them about twice a week. Same with the pre-made mix. It's pretty much what the pre-made mix is. Um, and you give that to them a couple times a week while they are in quarantine. Um, you can also give them some red bell peppers. Make sure that the red bell peppers are organic so they don't have any pesticides on them. Remember that snails do count as pests, so pesticides will often kill them. So make sure that when you feed your snails, it is organic and make sure you rinse it off really well. Um, so yeah, you're gonna give them that as well. Not a lot of snails will eat red bell pepper and if they don't eat it, that's fine. I give them the mix and the bell pepper just to like, you know, get it all in there. You don't have to do that. You can just do the mix. But if you're gonna only pick one, do the mix. Now that's pretty much how you deworm snails. It's a pretty simple process. It's very essential. Now for mites, mites are a little bit more tricky and I really hope you never have to deal with mites. I have been lucky enough to never deal with mites. I, I hope I will never have to deal with mites ever. Now, the mites you want to look out for, there are different kinds of mites. There are some food mites and some soil mites. Those are generally fine. They don't really, they're not parasitic. Um, the parasitic mites you want to look out for, you'll know them because they will actually be going in and out of your snail's breathing hole, which is like on the neck. 
and they'll be going in and out of that and they will kill your snail. So how do you get rid of these guys? It's a bit complicated and it seems a bit counterproductive, but hear me out. So you're going to want to bathe your snail a little bit. Don't drown your snail, just bathe your snail. You can give them a green tea bath if you really want to, but I, I feel like a regular bath would probably be just fine um, to kind of drive any of those mites out and to clean, up, clean them off. Now, here's what you need to do. And again, it seems a little counterproductive. You can buy predatory mites on Amazon. Um, I will link them down below, but basically they give you a tube that has some predatory mites in it. I've heard it's kind of expensive. I've never had to get them. I haven't looked into how expensive they are, but they come in a tube and you pour that in your substrate and they will eat all of the parasitic mites. They shouldn't harm your snails. They will eat any springtails you have in there and any isopod babies. They shouldn't be big enough to eat the actual adults, but they will eat the babies. Um, and now the, the cool thing about it, because now you're thinking, oh, well, mites get out of control really fast, and like now I'm just gonna have a bunch of these mites. Actually, they will go and eat all of the parasitic mites, and then when they run out of a food source, which unfortunately would mean any springtails you have or anything like that, they will actually start cannibalizing on themselves. So they'll kind of just take care of themselves. But that is the only thing I could find to get rid of these mites. I've heard it's pretty rare for your snails to have them, but you know, you can never be too safe with having this knowledge. So I really hope that this helped and this answered the question. Thank you Elaine Chan for making this video request and I really hope I answered your question well enough. But this is all the information I could find from my own research and what I already knew from my research. The Etsy dewormer mix will be linked down below, as well as those uh, predatory mites I was talking about. I will link those below for you. So if you need them, they're in the description below. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I post pictures of my animals every single day, so go check that out. I also do some interactive stories over there, as well as some updates you might not get till later on YouTube. So go follow me over there, um, that'll be linked down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every single Friday at 3 p.m. Give this video a like and comment if this was helpful in any way or if you have any video suggestions. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye!